Hi everybody, the Canadian Treasure Hunter here. This is a new year, 2014. My first house demo. I'm going to do a little bit of hunting here. I'm going to be using my e track to the part of the boulevard. I'm going to do the front yard. This is probably about a 19, late 50s, 60s house. It's got a nice wide open backyard, uh, really long. We've got just over an hour to hunt here, so hopefully something pops up. All the best, Canadian Treasure Hunter. Hi everybody, Canadian Treasure Hunter here. I'm here with my buddy JP. Uh, we just finished a hunt. Yeah, I'll the, just show the, you the, about the well, Baron. JP the Baron. We uh, did a little grass strip here. I'll tell you, you know, there's many of these all around, all around the world. There's just a little divider in the middle of traffic. As you can see, it's a road. It's a road through here. We're in the Vancouver, by the way, west side of Vancouver, and you'll see the road goes down here. So well, I'm using E-Track, and he's using the AT Pro. We found over 50 coins in this little area. I found a ring. Best item was a ring. A silver ring. Uh, Gelby's bottle cap. Another cap. A uh, piece of metal there. That's my best find. So you got a coat hanger hook. Another piece of brass metal. Could be a hair bread of some sort. I got some of these tokens, they're sex tokens. I got two, he got one. I got nickel, a couple dimes. Uh, JP scored a really cool dog tag. Quite interesting, 1949 City of Vancouver dog tag. That's a really good find. He ended up getting a key. He got about, uh, I would say about 25 coins, almost, some of like that. I got 30 coins, he got a, that's a sex token. Quarter. So it shows you, you know, don't overlook these areas. It doesn't have to be a populated area, or as long as it's an old area, it's got history. Uh, this is one of the better grass strips here. Not really old. All the coins are all newer, 70s and so on, some late 60s, but uh, it just shows you, you know, a couple of nice items here. You got a ring, you got a dog tag, which are two good keepers. Uh, we did hunt here for about an hour and a half. As you can see, there's the ocean there. I'll give you a pan of the ocean. The ocean's way over there. So you know this grass strip, like I say, could have been here for many, many years. Uh, may have one time not have been a complete road. No one really knows. You know that's why I'm saying you'll find these all over town in uh, hilly areas, um, places where um, there's subdivisions that had grass strips. Anything old, say 40s or older, is a good place to look. Uh, you'll see subdivisions. They always have a green space or a divider that didn't plot out for a proper size of a lot or a little diamond or triangle so definitely don't uh, underestimate these lots I've did really good I know other people have done really good so I'm glad to get uh, a first silver of the ri first silver uh, ring of the year and I have two silver coins of the year so far all the best thanks for watching Canadian treasure hunter out Hi everybody Canadian treasure hunter here these are my finds for the uh, new year these are all the finds for the first week of 2014. I'd like to wish everybody a happy new year and many uh, great success in finding the treasures you're looking for. These are my finds for this week. A watch case. Got a Heinz, or actually a Pure 57 products. It's actually like a Heinz food bottle, ketchup of some sort. Uh, it's probably from the 40s, I would think. Got a couple of these uh, sex tokens I actually had three. I can't find the other one. Amazingly, these are you always find these by trees and stuff. I don't know what they're doing there, but it seems like every time you find these tokens, you're under trees, which is pretty strange. But anyways, here's a pin. Some sort of pin here. It's hit by a lawnmower. So some sort of... Um, I'm not sure if it's a ferry or it's a sailing ship. Or like a yacht of some sort. Here's some piece of uh, metal, could be part of some jewelry. It was a low, low tone, but it came up as a high, like it was a low tone reading, but the, it was a higher signal, higher pitch. Uh, here's something to do with the Olympics, I believe, 2010. There's a, a lead button, could be like maybe a dress weight, possibly. Here's a higher root beer, cap, probably from the 70s, 80s. Is a Gilby's. Uh, Gilby's might be uh, 
could be a gin, I think. I'm not really sure. Some sort of liqueur. Just a fancy piece of brass. A couple of keys. I believe that's part of a hair clip, that other piece there. And then there's some sort of a heavy metal ornamental type piece. Hard to say what it's for. Here's a really cool coat hanger. It was found by a bush under a tree. Uh, lead. Looks like a little barrel. It was pure lead. Looks like a conductor, uh, one of those high voltage conductor uh, connection leads. Yeah, um, I opened it up there. It looks like it's has two fittings on either end. I think you crimp it to high voltage. Got a fishing weight. Got six nickels, five dimes. These are, uh, as you can see, I'll show you here. See how these, these are your coins when you detect them out of the dirt. These have been washed by hand. See how poor they look, crudded and all that? These I had time to tumble. See the big difference on tumbling coins? A little close, give you a better close up here. As you can see, the coins come out like brand new. The ones that look poor here, like, like this, for instance, American one, these are zincs. Pure copper coins come out pretty nice and clean, unless they're really early and green. So these are all been tumbled. So they turn out pretty good. Okay, what I'm going to go to is this section here. These are uh, all my wheats of 1910, 1921, a 45S, 44S, 52S wheat. Let me get a little closer. Uh, 53S wheat, a 56. And we'll go up to, this is a pretty cool coin here. It's actually a key date. It's a 22 Canadian one cent. I got a 29 one cent. I did get a 42 dime silver. And then I got a 44 silver. Quite happy about that one. And I did get my first... Um, silver ring of the year and that's number two silver coin of the year so I'm very happy the year has been pretty good I uh, just uh, as you see uh, in the grass strip uh, the ring was found at the grass strip it was just a little triangle and I'll show you uh, I found this this the other day I just don't know what those initials um, somehow it looks like a CPR maybe but I can't really say for sure if there's anybody that might uh, know what this is, give me some feedback for the initials there. Intertwined initials. I did get uh, a Chevy car symbol. It's actually like a, a thick aluminum. And I'm thinking it might have been, you know how uh, they're protected in a kind of a hard plastic? You maybe got run over by the road and it maybe... Uh, it got flattened and so on, and it broke out of the plastic case. Not sure, but anyway, it's a Chevy emblem, probably an older one. Got a super cool car. Um, I did dig it. It was down about eight and eight nine inches, and I stuck my shovel in there. I think I bent it in half, but it did have some damage at one time. But it's a really cool car. Quite happy to get it. I found a green one similar to this one convertible looking a green one if you look out back at some of my older videos uh, this is a Mercedes Benz some sort of uh, part of maybe the in, uh, where the wheel lug goes I think something like that it might be just a connection there these are all uh, my 40s pennies that are you know okay condition they all been tumbled but I'm just going to show you my better ones that I found these are all been tumbled. It's a 40, 42 penny, 43, 44, 46, and a 52. So these are all the pennies I found. I found a total of uh, 113 coins. Of those coins, there are there are mostly copper, uh, a few zinc. 31 older coins from pre-64 old and older. I found 11 uh, shiny clad coins. So I found a grand total of 172 coins in about a week of detecting. That's about going out about, I think, two or three times. I would say maybe three times detecting. So uh, it's quite easy, like I say, it's quite easy to get, you know, 100, 200 coins a week. So you can easily do 
you go out every year providing your weather and so on of course you're gonna find more coins some days but if you average uh, you know 100 coins a week you'll count 5,000 if you get 200 a week you get up to 10,000 coins so it's not impossible you know like I'm looking at uh, you know places where the coins are pretty you know pretty slim but if you go to like fields and places where there's a lot of activity well you're gonna find a lot of coins so to find you know five to ten thousand coins a year is quite quite easy to find there's coins everywhere um, wherever you go there's just coins in boulevards grass strips corners your yard backyard like you know it's unbelievable where the coins can you know where they f pop up from who knows where it seems like you know I don't really lose any money that I know of but it seems like everywhere you go you're finding toonies, loonies, quarters, dimes, nickels anyways like I say it's the time you spend you gotta go out there and hunt and the more time you spend the more rewarding you'll get uh, I found a new some new ground which I'm really happy about I pulled most of this uh, cool stuff at some new ground I was out with JP on a weekend where I got the silver ring he got a nice uh, 49 dog tag so that day I got a ring and then we went to another area and he found a silver ring also the black onyx and then he got uh, a Vancouver fire department uh, button and he got uh, some older coins so it was quite good so thanks again thanks for watching um, definitely uh, enjoy looking at everybody else's videos hopefully the weather clears up for you guys back east I know you guys are fighting big storms and really cold temperatures so thanks again all the best Canadian treasure hunter out have a great day